Hello, my friends. Once again, my name is Pastor Mel Pasan, and thank you for watching our JJ Good Morning. No? And this is our uh, online devotion pre recorded broadcast. And today is April 8, 2020. I'm going to teach about the unexpected winners. We can find our text in the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 17 to 30. And that's what we are going to talk about today. But before that, I want you to enter, invite you to enter in, into the presence of God. In the presence of God, we believe that there is peace, there is joy, and in the presence of God, your soul and spirit overwhelmed with joy and we receive peace and all kinds of amazing things. Let's praise the Lord and let's worship his name. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you are God who created every single thing. We thank you, Lord, for dying for us on the cross of Calvary, for pouring your blood, for our sins to be forgiven, for us to have everlasting life. Yes, Lord, you died on the cross so that we can live. You are tortured so that we can have a better life. We thank you, Lord, for uh, you have always with us. We sought your name for every single thing that you have blessed us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Look at Matthew chapter 19 and verse 30. So we're getting a little bit better understand of what Jesus is talking about. He is not talking about many being uh, first in this life. And then being last in this life. Like, you know, nice guys always finish last. So that is uh, some folks believe. You know? They say, which is not true. But uh, anyway, if this is the re this reference to what will happen in the future, heavenly rewards, what will there be for us? No? And Jesus says, many who are first, that must be referring to first now, will be last then. And many who are last now, will be first then. And so there's going to be uh, this huge uh, reversal. Okay. And now, may I point out, Jesus did not say everyone who's first now will be last then uh, and vice versa and he didn't say a few or just a couple he did say many but let's remember this let's remember what he said so this is uh, so this doesn't have to have application to you you don't have to think well i'm doing pretty right now we want to make sure we're in God's perfect will. we doing exactly what is said for us in Matthew 18, verse 16. And it says in Matthew, don't I, ha uh, don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I'm generous? 16, so the last will, be, so the last will be first and the first will be uh, last okay has a lot to do with that and in matthew chapter 20 verse 1 that for the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire worker for his vineyard okay so and this is the parable of the landowner and the laborers 
and starts in verse number <clears throat> verse 1 of chapter 20 okay Jesus says I'm going to uh, stop uh, stop right there for that another that's synonym for because and so that what Jesus is about to say what Jesus says relates uh, relates to what he just said we already read verse 16 so we know his uh, he will explain in more details what he means by the first being last and the last being first this this parable is and uh, is the unveiling the unpacking of the mysterious praise okay so verse 1 in Matthew chapter 20 once again it says the for the kingdom of heaven is like land owner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard and verse 2 he agreed to pay them a denarius okay denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard okay denarius was a day wage a common days wage to a, for a laborer and they work you know uh, at least eight hours sometimes um, eight hours sometimes 12 hours okay when the harvest is ready uh, you work from sun up okay and to sundown because if you want to get the if you want to get the harvest in as quickly as you possibly can for a number of good reason and so he's hired these guys it doesn't say exactly what time but he read in verse number three okay verse three about nine in the morning he went out okay verse three okay, nine in the morning he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing not nothing that is a uh, niv or niv new international version and let's take a look uh version of nasb it says here's that and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. So there's uh, another term or another word that he used, the word idle. So the third hour would be about 9 a.m. And so we can assume that the other guys were hired before 9 a.m. If it was sun up, it could have been as early at 6 a.m. I think in verse of Matthew chapter 19 verse 30 you men have this kind of mentality. It is easy to have this mentality at least of being a little bit selfish. I mean there is existing culture says to look out for number one. Watch out for yourself. No one else is going to make sure and put your needs first above everybody else. And the Holy Scriptures or the Bible, the Word of God, would not agree with that statement. Jesus, our Master, our Savior, our Teacher, speaking in Matthew chapter 19, verse 30. And He teaches us something so, uh, so critical about His Kingdom. See, in our earthly world, in the opposite, the first is first, and the last is last. That is our, that is logical. That is that make sense? Like for, uh, for example, you no. Know, uh, example of the is that if we work hard, get to the front of the line. And then you fight like a crazy to make sure that no one gets front of you. No line jumping in life. We will knock down. You know? And you don't think 
you can jump ahead now you gotta put in you know the hard knocks and you do it yourself we earn our right to be number one well, especially uh, we experience that when we don't uh, when we don't have yet a uh, lockdown before you know, in our school most of the children in the school are comp uh, have a competition against their classmate Okay, and then we earn uh, we earn our right to be number one. That's what this word teach us. That's the that's the business word. That what it is. You no, know? that what our careers look like, and that's what life is. Work hard, pull yourself up, and then by your bootstraps. That is how the works you know, of this world. We assume the winners will keep winning while all the others will lose. When I was young, I remember the famous anime. His name is uh, the, the famous character on the animation that, that is uh, Samurai X. His name is Kenshin. He said, uh, he said on that scenario that one of his opponents believe in this life that the weak will die and perish. Only the strong and powerful powerful person will prevail. In Matthew 19, 19 uh, verse 23, it says here that then Jesus said to his disciple, truly, I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And in verse 24, again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Jesus turned everything upside down. How could being rich in this word are Standard is when you are rich, you're a winner. Oh, it's not bad to be rich, but when you love money, oh, then God. So that is uh, prohibited. Let's think for a while. Think about these questions. How could be being rich offer a roadblock? Apparently, if we trust in what we have, an example of what we have, it's like what we can do, who we are, then it's not only hard, but actually impossible to trust God. And the problem that is, it's totally anti-gospel. It's against on how we serve Jesus. If your priority is work so hard, focus to be number one, or prioritize all the attentions on yourself to push others out of the way so you can be lifted up higher you're gonna up in dead so, last place so be compassionate and love first put others ahead of you serve others help others then somehow through god's amazing grace you will be pushed to the front of line front of the line we don't know when that will happen in this world or the next. We don't know what it will look like. We don't know where or how or why. But we know it's the truth. And that is uh, according to Jesus. Well, I think that's Jesus working in our life. And we learn to serve others, our loving God. Make sure that you are taken care of. Why? Because when you put yourself last, you never end up being last. Just always remember that the kingdom of God doesn't play by our rules. The Bible says, as again, in Matthew chapter 19, verse 30, it says that 
Jesus said that many who are first will be last and many who are last will be first. And whether you first or last, everything we receive is purely by grace, by God's unmerited favor. Let us pray. Father God Almighty, thank you for the good news. Thank you for your word. And Lord, especially for the salvation that you give unto us. We praise you truly, Lord, that your kingdom doesn't play by our rules. Your thoughts is not our thoughts. Help us to consider how we can view people or how we can view our own life. May we see your way more and more and help us to be more compassionate and loving to our neighbors, to our brethren, and especially to our enemy, Lord God, if we have. And put others ahead of us. May we serve for your glory then may you lead us and help us to be in front of the line according to your will and promises. Thank you once again for sustaining the needs of your creation. And may you bless once again the beloved only ship and protect each one of us against coronavirus. Help our medical frontliners and help us, our God. May you bless Captain Jiang and the uh, board members and staff. May your peace be with us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless us all once again.